the executive producer and co-creator of The Affair, Sarah Trim. So sorry, you just get me. Because okay. Ruth won, and so they're celebrating. <laughs> it was great. Um, yeah. This has been a great night for uh, females on television. Sorry, right in the center. Um, it's been a great night for females on television. Um, what do you think that might say about kind of changing tides and, and opportunities that may arise? Yeah, I mean, I think it's significant. I think that uh, something like four out of five of the comedy series were run by women, and a lot of the drama series are run by women, or at least a couple of them. And um, yeah, that's not an accident. I mean, w women are storytellers too. Uh, I think it's great. I think what's particularly exciting is that like when it started to change, it changed very quickly. Um, and so that just to me indicates that, you know, women have been kind of waiting in the wings for a long time and were ready to take center storyteller stage when they were given the opportunity, um, which is exciting. You mentioned, you mentioned on stage how your marriage is very strong. Uh, do you think that's the, one of the big, big, big reasons that you can write about something that goes so wrong on the show? Because my marriage is strong. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I got married in June. So, uh, caveat. But um, we have a son. We've been together for a while. Um, no, I mean, I, you know, I love my marriage. I'm so grateful for my marriage. Uh, but, you know, there are a lot of different ways to, there are a lot of different paths to walk in life. And, um, you know, I think when marriages end, it's very, very sad. It's, it's a true tragedy. And I think it's traumatic before it even happens for people. And um, we are so judgmental as a culture when that happens. It happens all the time. Um, and, you know, I just think, uh, you know, we love our characters. We love their marriages. We love them when they falter and you know I just think we could kind of all treat each other's relationships with a little bit of uh, respect because nobody really knows what happens inside somebody else's marriage and being married mar being married for you know 60 or so I mean it's, it's it's hard being married for your entire life is hard so uh, I would say that that was the inspiration for the show is just kind of like how does the marriage work congratulations on your win thank you um, Going off of the inspiration that you find with your characters and things like that, in what way would you like your characters and your show to influence your audience? Oh, I mean, I listen, I'm just really happy that people are watching our show. <laughs> really, really happy about that. Um, what I've said before, and I, I sort of stand by it, is that, um, is that I think that uh, if the audience gets a little bit less judgmental, from the experience of watching this show. And a little bit, ha has a sense of like, you know, there but for the grace of God go I. You know, marriages are, they can be strong, they can be fragile, they can be tough, they can be easy, but, um, but they, are, they, are, uh, they are very, very personal. Um, and if we could kind of stop maybe judging what happens in, in other people's relationships, I think that would be helpful, you know, but, um, but I don't know. We weren't we weren't pursuing any kind of agenda when we wrote the show. We just really wanted to tell a story that you know people cared about. So over over to your left, over to your left, right here. Um, the show debuted pretty late in the year, and already you kind of swept up in the awards and ceremonies. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it say about this moment in television that a show can go from zero to sixty so quickly, debuting and then becoming so uh, lauded so yeah, quickly? Yeah, I, I mean, I think you guys would know that, be able to speak to that better than I can. Um, I don't know. It's a surprise to me, too, because uh, it does feel like a, a real whirlwind, and it does feel like we just got on the air, and like it hasn't co quite stopped. So um, I don't know. I'm not really a student of, uh, of how television uh, wins awards, but you guys are, so I'm sure you'll have an answer. Uh, Jill. Sarah, I apologize. Uh, to the right here. Hi. You said on the red Did carpet. Did you just say Jill? I know. And I, like Jill Soloway? I, yes. I, I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, very I'll good. I'll take it. All right. Um, you said on the carpet that Ruth was a once-in-a-generation actress. Yeah. Obviously, the Golden Globe people agree. Yeah. 
how did you find her and what led you to that opinion? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so she was pretty last minute, actually. We had cast most of the other three before we found her, and she, um, we saw her real, honestly. I mean, we were, we were down to the wire. And, um, and she was so different in everything on that reel, on that two-minute reel. You know, and we, what, I, what I was hoping for in this role was an actress who was really, really changeable. I mean, I knew I wanted the actor to go very, very dark. I also knew that I wanted them to play two very different characters. Um, and she just... I mean, I think, I think that speaks to her talent. I think if you see a two-minute reel and you think that this woman is, is irreplaceable, then, um, you know, then what, I mean, you, can't, you, you have to get on your knees and beg her to do your show.